hey guys what is up how are you doing you're welcome back to my channel it is your favorite girl kennel p to the e to the n to the i to the e to the l if it's your first time seeing my face thank you so much for stopping by please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join the family and if you are a returning subscriber i love you from the bottom of my heart thank you so much for stopping by again and i want to say happy new year to everybody if you've not heard this from me i love you so much welcome to 2020 please let's get things done this year it's the year of securing the bag and doing things the right way okay so yeah from the title you already know the reason why i am talking to you right now you already know i started youtube in 2019 last year and um i wasn't really really very very vocal about my own opinions because i'm that kind of person that i don't want to just eh, air my opinion before you I, i'm that kind of person that just have my opinions to myself alone or people around me i'm not the type to like rub it into you or like to like tell you this is it but in this year 2020 i think it's we just should just get our opinions out there i, I should get my opinions out there too and see those that think the same way i think as well and then um, yes so without further ado let's just jump right into this video so guys um i'm going to be talking about some evil traditions and culture that should be looked into the fact that should stop in fact it should stop in 2019 we should have been carried up to this year so if you're following my channel you should you should have known that in, in um november i lost my uncle and his prayer was done in december hence the reason i traveled to the village for that reason so you guys some things happened in that barrier that i was like hold on a minute do we still do this in this generation by God's grace, I don't think I've ever buried anybody. I don't think I've ever been to a burial or something that maybe that's the reason I never knew these things exist until now or until last year when I went for my uncle's burial. You guys, my uncle is um my dad's half brother. That's to say, my granddad's step, my granddad's son. I don't know if you guys get what I'm saying, but so my uncle came to the family some years ago and at that time my granddad was already dead and buried okay so now he came into the family and has since then become a, an uncle and a brother to my dad and his siblings as well so when he died before his burial like during the period of his burial they were like um the omonna if you know what omonna is if you are if you are from Igbo, you know what omonna is so the women now were like, eh, hey, that they cannot bury him a certain way, or they can't bury him the normal way, traditional. In fact, he cannot be buried because he did not bury his father. I'm like, man, I'm like, wait, his father, is his father still alive? It's not the father that they are buried since twenty something years ago. They were like, eh, hey, they cannot bury him because he did not bury his dad. He didn't do the, he didn't fulfill the traditional rights um, of his father. So they can't do that for him. Now what are these traditional rights? They are like there are some things that he's supposed to do, he's supposed to buy, example goats, like he's supposed to use goats and some yams and some of these things. He has to present them to the homeowner for his father's burial before they can do that to him. I'm like, first of all, this man is dead. His old father is dead. Now, who do you want to do these things? Mind you, my uncle's kids, they are the elders now to 16 years of age. Is it the one that's going to go and buy goats? In fact, two goats now to bury grandfather and father. Grandfather, he doesn't even know. Now, mind you, this man in question did not even know his father. Like, the man wasn't a father to him. He didn't have that father figure. He gets growing up. So now, why saying he should do this? Things to this man that wasn't there for him. Let's not even go there. But he has to do all this. If not, they can't bury him in the normal Igbo traditional way. First of all, that it is that that is like I'm like, wait, wait a minute. It's crazy. As in, let me just say it to you. It is not to me, it's not appropriate. Like it is mad. Like why will you be doing that why will you subject people to do things this way this man is dead already i mean the, the grandfather my granddad is already dead 
is buried. It's been buried a long time ago. Why not let the dead bury the dead? Why not just go on and if you must do these traditional things, if you must buy all these goat and all of those things for the umona, why not just do it for this one? Do they have to do it again for the grandfather? Like for his own father that is dead and then doing it for him again. Guys, I found that so um um absurd for you to be able to, for them to say this kind of thing in this generation i'm not even saying that they don't have been doing it i'm saying currently in the in the in the in the, in the century that we are in you guys this is 2020 already you get me why are we still doing things this way that aside in fact that's not even the one that's even pissing me off right now the one that is the one that is getting on my nerve and is pissing the hell out of me is the one that you say the woman that her husband died has to mourn her husband for six months to one year that's not even an issue i don't even have an issue as much as i'm concerned you can mourn somebody as much as you want as long as you want but why subjecting this this person to a particular way to mourn her husband now you're you're saying she has to be in my own case she has to be in the village for one whole month <laughs> Oh my god. This is somebody that don't live in the village. No, we person live in the village is a different thing. This is somebody that have never spent three weeks in the village. This is somebody that only comes to the village for Christmas and go back to her job or something. Now, why subject her to stay in the village for one month to mourn her husband? That's not even the problem. Now, you say she won't go to the kitchen to do anything. She won't do the normal house, house chairs, chairs that she's used to doing, she shouldn't do anything. Maybe that one is enjoy, enjoyment for her. But now, why saying in the place of money her husband, she has to put on a particular clothes. Mind you guys, this clothes is not the one that is not that she's going to wear clothes for the one month though, she's going to stay. But you're going to wear it for one month that you stay in the village. Now, because she doesn't stay in the village, because you have to travel back to wherever she stays, you have to keep mourning your husband for close to six for six to one year wearing a particular type of clothes now she if she's let's say she's wearing white you have to wear that white for six months to one year who is who who even invented this thing like who is the person like who who said this thing who brought out this culture like who, who in fact who invented it who said that the woman has to wear a particular color of clothes or a particular clothes let's say god forbid she use i use this now i have to wear this same clothes or this clothes after me like two three and wear this thing for six months to one year in that period you don't have it's only the period of that one month that she has to stay has one month though because maybe you call the kind of family i'm from you guess so people for the three months to six months to one year for three months you won't even go out you won't anywhere you're going to if you're leaving the house like let's say this is the house now if you're leaving the door of your house to go out you must wear this clothes and go out. you obviously can wear your uh, normal clothes and stay in the house but if you're going out of your house if you have to go out of your house you wear it and then if it's in the daytime people are coming to your house you have to wear that clothes so everybody will identify you as someone that is in in that situation or that is mourning somebody that she lost that is not even making any sense to me right now. Like it is not, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is something I can't even phantom. I can't even start thinking about it. Subjecting somebody to work. I said, hold on. Have they even thought of the side effects of this thing? Have they thought of the repercussion this thing has? Now, if you, if you are, if you, if you've paid attention to this kind of things, or if you have been, if you've experienced this kind of thing before, I'm sure you would have known or noticed that some women that lose, that lost their husband end up dying three to six months after their husband's death now have you stopped have they all this amal in fact have these traditional rulers have they stopped to think about this thing i have an uncle in the family that we lost him some time ago and then a um, few months after his wife died have they stopped to think or even stopped to realize what could be the cause of the death of these women now when you subject somebody into a particular um space 
you tell them not to leave the environment they are in you tell them to wear the same clothes they are wearing in fact to now worsen the whole issue sometimes they go ahead to scrape the women head now like after the burial they now bring them like they is it Omar Adabu Mo'o guys <laughs> I don't live in the village, so I really don't know the names of these things. But please correct me. Please let me know if, if you're an evil person. If it's if it, is it the um what what they um that. What I mean is the women in the family. And most of the time, most of these women you don't even know them. The woman don't even know them. Now these women now gathers to perform the ceremony of scraping your head because you lost your husband. And then sometimes they go to now pour ash on you. What do you even think that act you're doing is doing to that woman at that point? Is she the one that killed her husband? Fatima is the one that killed her husband. Did you stop to think that doing this thing to this man might even put her in pain? Because she'd be like, ah, if my husband did not die, I think all this thing would have not happened to me. Scraping somebody's head without their permission or without their consent or without them obliging to it is it's like it's an act that will like reduce. The, in fact, it reduces you to nothing. You know, and the woman not end up feeling, you end up depressed. Some of sometimes the depression can even lead to suicide. Have you stopped to think why would this woman die a few months after their husband's death? You don't want to don't you don't just think it is the action you took on that lady. For her to be in this particular space wearing the same clothes, all these things remind this person of the pain they go through. In my own opinion, I'm like, allow this woman to like allow the people to be like everybody has the right to mourn their, their loved one the way they feel like. You get you don't have to keep on keeping them in the position where they are constantly reminded of the situation they are into now i went ahead to ask a question i'm like okay in the case where okay what if the reverse was the case or um the, there's the man that lost the wife what would be done to that man what will happen to the man and they said uh he will, he will mourn her now he will bury after the burial he can do whatever he wants to do uh so somebody told me he can he can decide to wear black <laughs> for some time for a week or so depending on how long he wants to wear it's the man's choice so the man has a choice and the woman doesn't have a choice are you guys like hold on hold on like are you serious right now the man has a choice to wear or to act the way he wants to act he's not subjected to stay in the house for one month without doing anything no he's not subjected subjected to wearing particular clothes for six months to one year no, he's not. They, he, they won't cut his hair, even if men go scrape their hair, they won't cut his hair, they won't do the same thing they are doing to this woman to the man. Then, how who are you cheating? No, 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 tell me who are you cheating? To me, this is so insane, like it is absolutely absurd. It is inhuman, like it is absolutely inhuman for you to do the same to somebody. Now, you tell me the man will just go freely, the man will just live his life, continue his life. Sometimes these men go ahead in the space of three, six months to one year, they are getting married again. And then this woman will be there wearing the clothes, mourning her husband for six months, one year. This is absolutely insane. Now, and I said before they will take off that mourning clothes she's wearing, they will still gather together and still scrape the head again. Like you guys, it is 2020, like this thing should stop like we should have moved from this position to another level like, i'm not only countering the Igbo tradition i'm not saying Igbo traditions are useless or so but some of these traditions should be checked some of these things should be adjusted you guys it should it should be fixed because a constant reminder this this um this act will be a constant reminder to that woman it will keep her in the position that she will keep thinking of her late husband now in the position where this woman has kids or let's say this woman is is not doing anything like she was a housewife you know that this act will now keep on reminding her that, ah your husband is dead though nobody will help you ha, look at the people that are, look at the people that are around you look at what they are doing to you they're the ones that are scraping your head they're the ones that are keeping you in this position now who will help you out of this situation this act alone it is enough to to make it is an it is enough to make this woman go mad it is enough to give her high blood pressure it is enough to submit her into severe depression guys please if you are an evil person and what i'm saying if it's making any sense to you or it is relatable to you please leave your comments in the comment section like 
let me know if maybe maybe this what what I'm saying is, is maybe it's different from where you're from. Let me know if this is similar to what you, if you've experienced this kind of thing, and let me know your opinions about this thing. Like the woman mourning her husband a particular way, and the man not doing the same thing when he's when he loses his wife. Like you guys, this thing should be checked. Guys, um, like I said before, I'm not trying to rub my opinions into your head, but I have to do this. I have to say this because I'm like, we have to check ourselves. We have to. We have to look for a way to go around these things you guys so guys thank you so much for watching today's video if you make an, if you made sense to you please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and um if you've not subscribed yet up until now please hit the subscribe button and join the family tell a friend to tell a friend tell another friend to watch my videos and subscribe to my channel if you like this video and you want me to keep doing more of this kind of videos please let me know in the comment section or if you even have a different opinion or if you have a different thing that you want me to do Please leave us in the comment section and I will see you in another video. Bye.